Good morning, everybody. This is Judy Parcell. I'm in my studio again, and I want to welcome you to um, my little workshop I got here. I want to start doing some simple Zen doodles for you. I'll show you how to start, because if I start with something complicated, you may get frustrated and get lost and lose interest. And I don't want that happening. So, here, let's draw a mushroom. Okay, just I just did a string like that. And I picked up the other end, and I kind of made it bumpy. You know, kind of like a turtle. Brought it around like this. And then I've made a stem. And that can be any way you want to do it. I'm going to go like that and put a few little circles on it. And all right, ready, you can see it's a red mushroom. Put it off the edge. Don't make them all uniform. Okay, there we go. There's your first one. Little comical. And then we're going to do another one. And it will be like this. A little higher, maybe. Uh oh, I'm out of lead again. And this one, you can go straight down, make it fatter, shorter, with a straight line. So you see there's all kinds of ways you can do it. A mushroom. Another mushroom might be something like this. A really skinny stem. And you make it a little skinny mushroom. So those are kind of mushroom shapes that you can do. Another kind of mushroom would be to show more of the top of it. More of the top, less of the bottom. And this is called foreshortening. Because you're looking more at the top of the mushroom than you are the bottom. So I would make this a lot more, a lot shorter. And the way to emphasize that would be to come in and put a little shading in there. See? And when you shade it like this, if you have the sun coming from here, your shading's going to be on this direction. So that's another way to do mushrooms. Let's say there is a bug on the mushroom. Let's do a ladybug. She's got a black front. Two spots like that. She's like that. See how simple this is? Now, if you were going to do this mushroom, they usually grow in clusters. So, I would just do a series of parallel lines going in different directions because they do. And I would do one maybe like this, just for interest behind. And you'll notice I did this in threes. Okay. And I would kind of do this one like this. Have it hide behind there. And come out here like this. 
This almost could use another one, huh? How about one that's fallen down? And it's showing its underside. And over here, you just see barely the top of it. Now, this is known as foreshortening. It's shorter than this, so you foreshorten it. Because when you're looking underneath here at all of this, by the way, do your northeast-south on this again. That's how you keep them lined up. And you can go in between, and they won't stagger on you. Mm -hmm. And then I put a little bit of roundness here. There. So, there you have it, and then you go in and you erase these lines that you don't need. Now you have a very interesting composition. These are fun and cartoony. Standing alone though, you're going to have to add something to them and you might want to add a bug to it. Um, anyway, these are just some little lessons in simple drawing of mushrooms. Thank you for joining me in my studio today and I'll talk to you later.